Phoenix Island's protected area is one of the world's largest marine protected areas. Located near the equator in the Central Pacific, the Phoenix Islands covers over 157,000 square miles, about the size of California, including eight islands and vast open ocean and deep sea habitats. The Marine Protected Area, or MPA, is one of the first and largest marine conservation efforts by a developing country, Kiribati. The MPA protects important seabird nesting grounds, tropical fauna, as well as rare traditional plants. One of the most valuable assets of this protected area are the virtually untouched coral reefs, which provide a glimpse into an ancient marine ecosystem. The Phoenix Islands Protected Area was first declared an MPA at the 2006 Convention on Biological Diversity. Formal regulations were adopted in 2008, and the area now protects over 120 species of coral, 514 species of reef fish, and more yet to be discovered. Large fish populations act as living testimony to the efficacy of this pristine habitat. Huge schools of barracuda, spawning parrotfish, and teeming surgeonfish flourish in the protected area. Sharks and other predators are no stranger to these waters. Their abundance indicates a healthy reef ecosystem. Unfortunately, the Phoenix Islands are not protected from global influences. Even with protected area status, the MPA is still vulnerable to global factors such as climate change. In 2002, the coral reefs were severely damaged by unusually warm waters resulting from El Nino. The slight increase of 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit caused a mass bleaching event of the coral reefs. In 2009, a team of scientists from the New England Aquarium, Conservation International, Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, and Scripps Institution of Oceanography embarked on an 11-day expedition to assess the damage to the coral reefs. They found that 60% of the corals in the Phoenix Islands had died due to severe bleaching. Huge fields of shelf coral had turned into fields of rubble. But in the coral rubble, scientists found hope. The isolation and subsequent protection of the island's reef systems had aided in coral recovery. Coral reef assessments found that 50% of the coral lost in the 2002 bleaching event had partially recovered. Scientists cited intact fish populations as a major player in the recovery of the reef, as the herbivorous fish prevented algae from dominating the ecosystem. A recent expedition in 2012 noted the continuation of coral recovery, but another bleaching event in 2010 likely stalled some of the progress, the extent of which is not yet known. Protecting the Phoenix Islands from overfishing is critical, but unfortunately, climate change knows no boundaries. The future of the Phoenix Islands protected area remains to be seen, but its protected status confers the best conservation measures available to help buffer against climate change impacts. <laughs> The New England Aquarium continues to send expeditions to the Phoenix Islands to monitor coral growth, discover new species, and continue marine research. To learn more about the Phoenix Islands and their amazing ecosystems, visit www.phoenixislands.org.